More promising news this afternoon. NBC's Keir Simmons tells us about the latest in one of the most closely watched vaccines in its trial stage. It's often called a double defense. More than a thousand people were given a new vaccine from the UK's Oxford University, partnering with AstraZeneca. Data now shows it triggers two types of immune response. We're getting both sides of the immune system stimulated, and that is fairly unusual for vaccines. Double immunity would mean the vaccine prompts the production of not just antibodies that stick to the virus, but killer T cells that target infected human cells. Now, researchers have begun trials with thousands more people to find out whether it prevents coronavirus, whether it's effective for older people, and crucially, does the vaccine provide long-lasting results? What we don't know is how long antibodies last to fight coronavirus. After natural infection, immune responses can define very quickly. But that doesn't actually mean that the same will happen the vaccine vaccine uses a different approach to stimulating the immune system. They're hopeful, but there's no guarantee of success. Viruses like the common cold still don't have vaccines. If everything goes well, a vaccine by early 2021? A, a vaccine later this year is not impossible. A lot of things would have to go right for that to happen and to be deployed in 2020, but we're still targeting that. While this morning, NBC News learning clinical trials will soon begin in America. In the next few weeks, there'll be a very large U.S. trial starting in around about 30,000 people. The U.S. government has promised a billion dollars for the Oxford vaccine and has signed deals for millions of doses. That raises a controversial question. Who and which countries get a vaccine first? And to make it more complicated, the evidence from this early trial is that two doses of this vaccine might be needed, that that improves uh, the immune effect. If that is the case, of course, it makes it more challenging to spread it around the world. Keir Simmons, NBC News, London. And keep in mind, folks, the timeline here, even once we have found that vaccine and, and we've agreed upon it, it's still months away. You're still talking again, probably next spring or next summer, by the time we're talking widespread distribution of it, Carolyn. You know, we, we discussed the fact that uh, I think it was 2009 when swine flu happened and it seemed like there was a vaccine overnight. Just very different kinds of viruses we're dealing with here. Um, it, it is scary because without the vaccine, we're all so vulnerable and still so vulnerable to this virus. We just have to keep in the back of our minds that a vaccine is coming. It's just going to take a while. That is not going to be to any of our timelines for sure.